guys welcome back to my channel so today I am finally 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 going to be getting a video out um, to talk more about just what has been happening with my hair <laughs> seen a lot of you guys speculating on different videos um, of my current videos that I've posted here recently speculating like oh my god did you cut your hair um, and I've answered some of those questions like in those comments um, and also briefly I have talked about uh, me cutting my hair in different videos but it's not getting through to everyone so I decided to do a dedicated video on it because I also had people speculating that my hair has like broken off or my hair growth has been stunted and just like all types of things that are not true so I wanted to do a video just strictly dedicated to this topic to kind of like clear the air and let you guys know so to be honest I did not want to do a video right away when I cut my hair back in 2022 2022 was probably one of the craziest years that I've ever had in my life so I honestly just when I cut my hair back in 2022 it was back in July I did not think to like do a video I was just you know cutting my hair and to be honest um, when I was doing this process I did post a picture on my community uh, tab where I showed you guys like the hair hair that I had cut off but to be honest that wasn't even all the hair that I cut off that was just when I remembered to take a photo and post it so that wasn't even all the hair that I cut off in that little clip to be completely honest I ended up cutting way too much of my hair off I originally was gonna let my mom cut off my um, my hair like do do my ends and things like that uh, but I didn't get around to like getting her to do that so I decided to do it myself and I ended up cutting way too much off my hair and I haven't had that big of a chop <laughs> since honestly for years like since 2016 so that was something completely new to me and that was what I did why did I decide to do such a huge cut? Well, number one reason, <laughs> just to get into this video right away, is that I did not mean to go that far. Number two, I sorta of got bored of my hair and the styling process of my hair. Also, I felt like that I wasn't really taking care of my hair the way that I had been prior years. Um, like I said, 2022 was a completely different year all around, even for my hair. So I kinda of got sick of like my hair and I've never been sick of my hair like the entire time like this was a pivotal moment in my hair journey because I've never gotten like tired of my hair in that way I'm not one to like color my hair or do like really like extreme things I always keep it very basic so I just felt like that I wanted to like shape my hair a little bit but at the same time I didn't really know what I was doing <laughs> long story short so we're gonna get into this video because I decided to do a video for you guys to kind of show you guys what I've been doing now um, and how I've actually started to grow my hair back to where it was and how I have kind of gone back to a lot of things that I was doing in the beginning of my hair journey and just all of that so we're gonna put all of that into this video We're of course in 2023, it's been several months since I cut my hair. So a lot of the things that I can tell you guys today is something that um, has really helped me and that I've been doing for several months. And honestly, things that I've been doing for years that I'm actually just going back to. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get right into it. So I told you guys the whole spill of how we kind of like got to the point of my hair being a lot more shorter. I have been trying to of course grow my hair back out because it wasn't my intention to go to like shorter hair or anything like that. Um, actually my hair was really really getting long uh, before I went and chopped it and uh, before I started to kind of get lazy with my hair. It was getting really really long and so I was actually focused more on getting my hair longer. Before I cut my hair my hair was um, to I think it's called like classic length that's where my hair was before I cut it it's now back up to waist length I noticed that the entire time I grew my hair out like 
the beginning of my journey when I was like growing out my hair and things like that. One thing that was something that I would never do was be too critical of myself and like watch my hair grow and like just be very like focused on it. And so with that mindset, my hair would just grow because I would have like fun like making my DIYs, making products, um, doing my routines, doing certain uh, like routines every week. That was like the fun part of it. And you guys see that all across my YouTube channel, like the things that I put on here is a lot of what I was doing to my hair and I was even doing a lot more off camera and it wasn't because I was trying to get to some result I was just like having fun in that moment and really just trying a whole lot of different you know avenues and things like that and finding out what works for my hair and what doesn't work for my hair I noticed that this time around when this year started I was like okay I want to get my hair back to like the way that the length that it was being critical of myself focusing on the growth way too much like way more than i ever have in the past and just to give you guys a background i was like using my growth oil and then like i was like okay is my hair grown like more now like i was doing that and then um after like a few few weeks of doing that i was thinking to myself like wait a minute rewind back i've never been like that so if I do that this time around, it's definitely not gonna work. Quickly scrap that mentality. And now, currently, I have gotten back into doing just the basics of what I was doing prior to me cutting my hair. I posted this video here where I put, um, told you guys that I did nothing and my hair grew. And after that video, I feel like that it went downhill. <laughs> Because that video, I was like, oh my god, I haven't been doing much to my hair, it's been growing, blah, blah, blah. And I was kind of just giving you guys like the basics of what I had been doing to my hair, which was pretty much my routine, you know, that I always do. I feel like that after that video, I started to really get comfortable with the fact of, oh, I don't have to do much to my hair anymore. And I started to really drop off a lot of the routines that I was doing, and I was wearing a lot of ponytails, and I just wasn't focusing on my um, hair as much. I wasn't focusing on my scalp as much. Today, I think about it, I'm like, okay, your hair, you weren't getting tired of your hair, you just wasn't putting any energy into your hair. So if I could go back, I probably wouldn't have cut my hair so much. With that being said, I have started back up doing a lot of the things that I was doing prior to um, this haircut. One of those things is, like I mentioned, I wasn't really focusing on scalp health back you know in 2022 this year as you guys have seen on my channel i've uploaded two scalp care routine videos i believe um where i'm telling you guys like about scalp health and things like that uh because scalp health is super important so when it comes to my scalp uh, i don't know if you guys remember but i came out with this product gaia dreams um deep restore nectar this product in particular took a lot of um, time because this product focuses on you know skin health and like scalp health your scalp is a part of your skin I had to get a lot of help and to be honest this product failed twice before I actually came out with a really good formula and that's because it has to do with your skin and when you're dealing with skin you have to make sure that you are really really like getting your formula right so just to say that in short so I went through this phase where I was like, oh my gosh, scalp help is so important when I was uh, formulating this product. And afterwards, I started to realize how important scalp health was. And like, oh my gosh, like I have to make sure that I tell my subscribers that like they had to stay on top of their scalp health. It's really important to hair growth, blah, 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 blah. And I was like so into it. And I was using the Gaia Dreams collection a lot. Fast forward to the middle of 2022 when I told you guys that I dropped off. One major thing that I really dropped off from was was scalp health so I have gotten back into doing my scalp care routines and things like that and treating it like a separate part of my routine like I was um, prior so I've been using the Gaia dreams deep restore nectar on my scalp and this is just a refresher for your scalp and it just absolutely makes 
things a lot more easier. You see the result of taking care of your scalp, how much healthier it is, how much healthier your hair is growing, things like that. So I have started back to doing my scalp routines. The Gaia Dreams Deep Restore Nectar can be used on like a weekly basis when it comes to your scalp routine. But I, to be honest, have been using it every two weeks or even less than that. But I have been doing like certain routines and scalp massages and things like that weekly. Um, sometimes bi-weekly if I don't have time. Uh, and it's really been helping my hair and helping me to just get a little bit further along and not have to worry about like my scalp feeling dry or neglecting my scalp altogether. Other thing that I definitely wanna get back into doing is my DIYs. I haven't really been heavily getting into doing my DIYs like I was before, um, but I have definitely made it a point to, from now on, make sure that I do like DIYs every month, just like I did prior. And that's one thing that I wanna go back to because I felt like that with my hair, when I was doing like DIYs and just putting, like being creative with my hair um, when it comes to like different masks and things like that my hair was really really flourishing unbelievably so i definitely want to get back to that as well you guys know that this product here was created from me doing like my diys and like just having a lot of fun with making products and that is the stimulating scalp and hair oil i've been using this stimulating scalp and hair oil two times a day I stopped using it two times a day when my hair started to grow just because I didn't feel like that I needed to do it that often. So fast forward to now, I'm starting to use it two times a day. So in the morning time, I'll use it on my hair and then at nighttime, I'll use it on my hair. And I have honestly seen really good results that I've been using for so long and I know that with consistent use, you're definitely going to get results from this. So that's why I decided to put it back into my routine as a regular like thing that I was doing. I was regularly using it before, but it was very sporadic and I'm not as consistent. Hair has actually gotten longer since I cut it. This is a picture of my hair before, whereas this is my hair now. Like I said, it's gotten a lot longer since I cut it originally anyways. So already seeing a lot of good results from getting back into my routines and my technique. When it comes to styling my hair, oh my gosh, in 2022, I was putting my hair in ponytails, like low buns, and just pulling my hair <laughs> every which way into ponytails almost daily because I was not in the mood to do my hair. And I feel like that low ponytails and buns and stuff like that are good, but you don't wanna do that too much and you definitely don't wanna do that on a consistent daily basis. And I got to the point where I was doing that on a daily basis and I wasn't really combing through my hair. I was just like getting up in the morning, okay, I don't feel like combing my hair, I'm just gonna throw in a low bun. And that to me, causes a lot of issues with your hair the way that it looks when it's out as well because your hair is constantly being pulled to add insult to injury i stopped using my silk scrunchies and started using these other scrunchies that i found that was um, pulling my hair a lot tighter and making my ponytails look very very sleek and like i said i absolutely love my sleep ponytails it's good to you know break it up sometimes and wear those ponytails and every now and then but i was doing this literally daily like every single day um every single week i was putting my hair into a low bun with that ponytail holder and that was really pulling my hair tight and it wasn't really breaking my hair but i was noticing that my hair was starting to um, thin out a lot more than what it had been before so i made that video a few weeks ago this saved my hair where i was telling you guys that i've gone back to doing like braids and twists and also uh gave you guys some techniques on how to like pretty much get your hair to feel a lot more thicker uh, because I had a small experience with that. I'm, like I said, my hair is back to being like, you know, vibrant and thick and, you know, back to being itself. But I had like a small like portion of the time where my hair was like starting to thin out and it was due to wearing those hair ties. So I have switched back to wearing silk hair ties only. Um, these are on my website, 100% pure silk. And oh my gosh, we're back. We're back in business because these do not pull out your hair. They slide right off. You don't have to worry about it when you're sleeping. Um, the amount of hair that comes out with these is almost 
non-existent compared to other hair ties when it comes to styling my hair speaking of the silk hair ties i have gone back to doing like twist outs twists just you know just plain twists in my hair for the week and i've gone out back to doing my wash and goes a little bit more often um with wash and goes um i'm not gonna go back to doing wash and goes too too often because i feel like that twist are what grows your hair but i have been definitely doing more wash and goes uh rather than just doing ponytails the two products that i have been having as my go-to is definitely the heavenly cloud soft moisture um serum this is the product that i came out with just in 2022 the end of 2022 and i've also been using my angelic cocoa clear quartz jelly both of these products together oh my gosh oh my gosh they work excellent together this serum serum and this jelly together they they max so good like the consistency is very smooth and i've been taking the jelly and the serum and mixing them together and using them on my hair so this is what i've used on my hair today just the serum and the jelly and it's helped my hair so much it makes your hair look so much more vibrant um this is not even to be honest a wash and go this is a stretched out old twist out and this morning i revamped it with these two products and now it just looks like a wash and go because that's how powerful those two products are together and i like finger coil the ends of my hairs and things like that and like make sure that it was nice and put together but oh my gosh these two products have been a game changer if you guys do not take anything else from that video from this video take the fact that these products are amazing and the thing about this serum is this serum is packed with antioxidants which is really good for helping to yield hair growth to be honest the two-in-one conditioner on my website has been sold out it's in production now but it's been sold out i'll be coming back soon and to substitute that leave-in i've been using these two together and then putting my oil on top and I have been getting really, really good results on my hair. So yeah, guys, that combination alone is amazing for my curls. And that's something that I've been doing as well when it comes to styling my curls. All right, so the last thing I wanted to tell you guys, um, and these are really simple steps, right? But these are powerful steps. Last thing I wanna tell you guys is that I have gone to a different water bottle. The water bottle that I had um, in 2022, was completely different from anything that I've ever used before. And I didn't think that water bottles were really that, you know, important to your routine until I had the incident where I was completely just like using a water bottle that was so bad. The, the way that it sprayed out was just like one line and it didn't, you know, cover the surface of my hair. So I went to Target this year and i got this bottle this is like for a garden or something i don't even know but it sprays out i don't know if you can see that it sprays out so good the mist is like strong and it's getting a lot of coverage on your hair so if you have a really bad water bottle and you're using that to moisturize your hair daily it's a big deal because your hair needs water it needs hydration just like everything else on this planet so when you have like you know a really bad water bottle that is spraying out like one line it's not really getting the surface of your hair then it's not going to be the same effect as if as if when you had like for example a bottle that sprays out really good and covers like you know majority of your hair and just has a really good nozzle never knew how important a water bottle was until i did like the two comparisons and i'm like okay that needs to be out of my routine and i need to go back to using a really good water bottle so i have not mentioned deep conditioner all throughout this video because i know you guys are tired of hearing me saying that but um i've gotten back to being a little bit more consistent with deep conditioning my hair so i was consistently i was always consistent with deep conditioning my hair but because i wasn't washing my hair as much and i wasn't like putting as much time into my hair uh deep conditioning became inconsistent because i was inconsistent with my routine where and so i wasn't really doing anything and so deep conditioning was falling behind as well of course you guys know the deep conditioner that i absolutely love is my pink honeysuckle um, plus mango hydration deep conditioner uh you guys love this deep conditioner too this is like one of the number one products on my website other other than the um growth oil you guys absolutely love this deep conditioner which is why it's always sold out <laughs> i have been using that for for so long and it's just such a like 
moisture pack deep conditioner and it just brings so much life to your hair so you guys are without that deep conditioner because it's sold out so i don't have any more either um so what i've been doing in the meantime is using a deep conditioner that has been diy or i'll use shea moisture's deep conditioner i don't really go outside those two things um shea moisture is like the only deep conditioner that i'll use outside of my own or outside of my diys because I'm really, 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 really particular about deep conditioners. I feel like they're such a important part of your routine. And if you have like a really bad deep conditioner, then it can really mess up your foundation. So I don't really go outside of that. I've mentioned that on my channel so many times, um, so many times if you are old here, you know that that is something that is really important to me. So deep conditioning your hair, one thing that I did not mention in the beginning, but it's super important uh, and that's something that I've been focusing on as well. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that has been like something that has been a focus or I've gone back to and I really can't think of anything else. If I have anything else, I'll put like little notes on the screen. Yeah, I think that's it. Like that's the whole spill. That's the whole spill. I did cut my hair guys. I'm okay. <laughs> um, just you know, the comments have been a little bit, I, every time I see them, I'm like, oh my God, I just talked about this in another video, but I did not realize, I'm like, okay, this has to be one whole video. Um, I will keep you guys posted on some routines that I've been doing and put a lot of information on my, on my channel as well. So stay tuned to my channel. Thank you guys so, so much for your support and for subscribing to the channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.